everyone. Welcome back to day number three of the 12 days of Soapmas. <laughs> I am so excited about this soap. So first of all, something that makes it fun. I made this soap with my mom. It was labor intensive deluxe. You will see why later on. I still haven't seen the Nutcracker in the Four Realms. It's already out of theaters. Now I don't know what to do. I procrastinated too long, but based on the trailer, I made a soap inspired by the trailer is what I'm saying. <laughs> I also just like the Nutcracker in general. So yes, it's number two for Nutcracker soaps this year. If you aren't following me on Instagram, I have two, one for royalty soaps, one for personal stuff. All of it is just photos and videos of me. And without further ado, do. Let's make some soap, shall we? The first thing that we're gonna do for this soap is blend up the titanium dioxide into the water because the base of the soap is all gonna be white, so we don't have to worry about coloring things later on. And because I use water dispersible titanium dioxide, you can put it directly into the cooled lye water and just mix it all up, and that saves you um, making a cup dirty. <laughs> just past emulsion, so we're gonna add in our fragrance oil, cucumber, and melons. <laughs> I changed my mind. Originally I thought I might use Icy Shine from Nature's Garden, but this one is just, I don't know, it's great. It's been a long time since I used it. It smells exactly like, you know, cucumber melon from Bath and Body Works. I know they couldn't call it that, but that's what it smells like. <laughs> oh, I just smelled it. Yeah, super good, right? Yeah. Just so y'all know, if you're a soap maker, this fragrance oil will turn your batter to water. So you're gonna have to wait a little while if you wanna put pretty things in it. But if you're trying to use it for swirling, it's ideal. As far as putting in pretty embeds, we have all of these little chop soap cubes. I have been waiting, I'm not even joking, these have been sitting for probably uh, maybe five months. So oh, they're, wow. they're fully mature <laughs> as it were. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and dump those in. We've got quite a few colors. We got orange and pink and green and purple. So this is um, an unusual combo for, um, what's the name of the soap anyways? I was just thinking of calling it like Nutcracker. Nutcracker. Except for that sounds. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, maybe not. <laughs> holiday Nutcracker. I don't know. <laughs> you can't get away from saying it. See, what do they call it? What do they call it when he takes her to the candy realm? I don't, I don't know. Okay, so to get this in the mold um, without everything splattering. Oh. <laughs> yes, see that's why we're gonna be pouring it out of a smaller container. I see. <laughs> and I'm just gonna do one mold at a time because for this soap it really doesn't matter. You don't have to make sure that you know, every single one is getting colors or anything because it's all pre-mixed. So you can just take your time Make sure that you're pouring very carefully so it doesn't splash. We are gonna mound it up a little bit because the embeds that we put in will displace some of the soap that we would normally have. So y'all can see it's not flat on top. That's because I've, I've mounded it. <laughs> and all those lovely little chunks of soap will be cut easily because they're not glycerin, they're cold processed. So it's gonna stick to the cold oh. process really well. All right, so let's go for round two here. Just gonna pour it all in. I don't know where we were going with that. <laughs> pour it all in here. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> like an old man. <laughs> Round two. Let's get that in there. You know what the girls said today? They watched one of your videos. Oh, they did, huh? <laughs> yes, they did. And then they said, Mama, why does Katie say, scrapey, scrapey my containy? <laughs> They're like, that's bad grammar, and we all know it. <laughs> yeah, they said it a couple of times first, and then they asked me, now, why did she say that? <laughs> I said, because she's scrapey scraping her containing. That's right. <laughs> she's just telling you what she's doing. Okay, so I'm gonna scoot this off to the side, and because we do have some extra, just this much left here in my bucket, we're gonna fill up some cupcake liners. Yay! What will you do with those? I don't know. Send them home to me. We should decorate these fun because oh, yeah. this is like a perfect, I think these silicone cupcake liners are like the perfect size for a little tiny soap bar 
in maybe somebody's bathroom or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. Detour from the main soap. Oh yes, so let's just put them in. We'll oh, make it boy. fun. It's missing something. Do you know what that something is? Glitter! I... Yes! A woman after my own heart. It's like she raised me. It's like that. I'll let you do the honors. Large hollow is the only yeah. thing. Yeah! Like. Oh my gosh! <laughs> woo -hoo. Yeah! All right! Yes. <laughs> well, nobody will say it isn't sparkly. <laughs> Now let's seal it in. It's gonna go everywhere with <laughs> rubbing alcohol. Look how pretty! It is beautiful. You've done a very good job. Thank you. I learned from the best too. Aww. So for the frosting, I have added some wild strawberry Enviro glitter, so it's gonna be sparkly, into the frosting base. <laughs> and my little brother Momo is in the background, so if you hear cute little baby noises, that's him. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. I love that tip. I know. It really does make it look more like candy desserty things. I thought so too. This tip is from Amazon. I'll leave you guys a link down below. I'm gonna put three across for now. If you'd like to see more cute pictures of Momo, <laughs> feel free to pop on over to my mom's Instagram. Shameless <laughs> plug for you here. <laughs> I don't know if it's uh, up everybody's alley, but it's, it's fun to me. I, and that's what I think everybody's Instagram should be, that it should be fun to them. That's right. Yeah. I'm so surprised at how much you, <laughs> you know just i mean just the experience of having done it for so long now i know there's things that i didn't know i knew like <laughs> there, there's things i didn't know were not intuitive that i just i guess i've forgotten that are not intuitive uh-huh um like example how big the little piping ploops are supposed to be so you have just enough to make it last the to whole make time. it last the whole time and get an extra one on every single bar and not have any left. Like, I don't know how I know that. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't, it reminds me of City Slickers. And they're like, how's this, what about this ice cream? What ice cream goes with this meal? And they're like, I don't remember what how what they say, but they're like, 54 stores, 15 outlets, 92 flavors, we know. Okay, all the piping is on. Let's just take a moment to appreciate that pipe. That is beautiful. <laughs> Piping. Ooh. Yes. Oh boy, that's beautiful. So what she's putting on there is gold dust Enviro glitter. This is from Nurture Soap. So I think the only thing we are 100% for sure putting on are all of these little teeny tiny hand painted nutcrackers. I'll show you guys an up close shot right now. Here's all the little nutcracker men up close and just to show you guys how tiny they are, here's my thumb up next to one. Well, that makes my thumb look huge, but <laughs> there's my fingernail. So you can see how absolutely intricate it was to paint this. This did take us a very long time. Here's our little mica paints mixed with vodka. That's how we're doing it in mother's She's wiping off our little toothpick. <laughs> How long do you think it took us to paint all of these? You know, it probably, we took our time when we were talking and stuff, but it, it, it probably took an hour. To paint 32 of them, it took us an hour. But again, I think, we, you know, we were taking our time and having fun too. And I'm gonna poke them in with a toothpick because my big fat fingers are not <laughs> delicate enough for this. I got inspired by the Disney movie, oopsie. As well you should. I haven't gotten a chance to see it, have you seen it? No, I haven't seen it yet, oh, we man. should go together. We should go together. Because you like movie popcorn like I do. Oh man, and you know what else I like? What is that? The horrible, horrible, probably artery, you know, confining, um, gloopy oil stuff that they call butter. It isn't <laughs> butter, I know it isn't. Don't, don't lie to me but it's delicious. And you know what's even better? And I'll tell you what I do. For all of you fake butter lovers out there, I'm embarrassed to tell. No, please do. But it's a good story. Bring yourself a tiny little container oh with a lid. Oh my yes. god. Yes, ma'am. No, you yes, did I not. Yes, I did. I did it. I did. <laughs> I brought myself a little container. 
You have with the lost lid, like your a little, mind. Like a little Tupperware container, a tiny one, and I pumped it into that and put the little <laughs> lid on it and stuck it in my purse. What did you put it on? Well, on the popcorn because you get about halfway down and there's no more oh, okay. fake butter on it. And then you just pour it on there. You don't have to leave your seat and you don't have to miss any of the movie. But you've gotten halfway down you just pour it in there. Okay, that is way better than what I thought you were going to say. Would you say? think I was going to say drink it? <laughs> Did you say, were you thinking I was going to say I drink it? I thought like you were going to say you brought it home with you. Like, oh, to, put, to use it on my own popcorn at home. Yes, or See, other that would, things. See, that would feel more like stealing. But when I use it on the popcorn and it just saves me a trip. They're really cute. I know. But you know what would make them cuter? What's that? Gumdrop embeds. <laughs> okay, so now we're putting on some gumdrops. Okay. We're going to make them all the same. So let's put purple all right. on the top. I like using the gumdrops drops um, of the colors we already have on the inside of the soap. Okay. Okay, so now, now that we've got one gumdrop on, we're gonna put some some peppermint candies on because, you know, the Nutcracker Prince takes Clara to, to Candyland, essentially. Essentially, she goes to Candyland. <laughs> that's land. right. So that's what we're recreating here. So we're gonna stick that right in next to it. And then we'll probably have room for one more gumdrop, maybe two if we're lucky. <laughs> I just want to gag. Yeah. Quick run over there. Save it. <laughs> Things have turned sinister in the, <laughs> in the corner. It's Momo just went from making a really cute baby noise to going, uh. Okay, so you've lost your glitter privilege. <laughs> oh, I have. I go, I was just too much, huh? Now we could add some more glitter. <laughs> Why not? It's Christmas. Okay, so I'm gonna spritz this very carefully with rubbing alcohol because the little men, we don't wanna smear them up. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna spritz from up high. And then we'll do the side here. So tell me again why you have to do this. This kind of seals everything in it a little bit. It seals the deal. It seals the deal, and it also prevents the top from getting a heavy layer of soda ash, which is that chalky white right. stuff. Right, now that I do remember. <laughs> All right, that's it, we're done. Wow. <laughs> well, I say that's it like it didn't just take us four hours. <laughs> You were successful. That's right. So here is what the soap looks like up close. On this side, we have the peppermint and the gum drops. And then on this side, we have all the little nutcrackers and it's just glitter galore. It smells delicious. I cannot wait to cut this up. So we're gonna be back in 18 to 24 hours after this quick commercial break. We are back to cut the nutcracker soap. My mom is not here for the cutting video, so this will be the first time she sees it too. So I have lined it up with my cutter Evangeline to make sure all the little nutcracker men are not being whacked by the bar. Gonna push down very slowly. This does have cold process embeds in it, so we have to be a little more careful. I'll take out one from the middle. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It's so cute. It looks like big pieces of confetti. So we got that. And then of course we have the sparkly frosting. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up the little teeny tiny sparkles, but we've got the little gumdrops on here, the peppermint, and of course, Mr. Nutcracker himself. Caleb, do you like them? I love them. Can you see the vision? Do you see what I was going for here? Yeah, it looks great. Your mom did a really good job on those uh, nutcrackers. She sure did. I really want to do more soaps with the little confetti pieces on the inside now. Maybe we could do a split soap, put like confetti on the bottom of one and like a drop swirl on the top. Okay, you can see it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you can see. Y'all see the glitter in there? So cool. So Caleb, you're going to be gracing us with another question of the day. Indeed I am. So would you rather get $5 for every song you sang in public, or would you rather get $20 for every stranger you pants? Uh, you know, I'll just take the $5 for every song I sang. Can it be as simple as like, row, row, row your boat? Or does it have to be like a full-fledged like gone. song? Every song has to be at least three minutes long. Oh, oh no, I'm still, I'm, I'm gonna, <laughs> Still taking the song. I, I just, I couldn't bring myself to. What would you pick? I mean, I'd like to, I, I think it'd be funny to pick the pantsing thing, but I, I'd probably have to put in more money to, to want to do that. How much more money, Caleb? 50 bucks for 
50 bucks. 50 bucks? You would pants a stranger? Sure. I don't think I know who I married. <laughs> I also don't believe you. I do not believe you, not one bit. I don't think you'd do it. You don't think that I would walk up to like a, a couple of guys playing basketball and just, uh, you know, pants somebody in their basketball shorts? No! And run away? <laughs> what are they gonna do, chase me? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, you know what, maybe in proper company. If you were with Kenny, you might do it. By yourself, you would not do it. That would also just be the weirdest thing to see some tall, skinny dude just be like, Hey man, sorry about this. <laughs> just pants you and walk away by himself. <laughs> Maybe they would think there's a hidden camera. I don't know. Let's find out what the audience thinks, shall we? <laughs> if you would like to vote on the weird, absolutely absurd question of the day, you can click the I in the upper right hand corner of the screen. We're gonna be really curious to see what you guys say. I hope most of you side with me. Are you not shooketh? Are you not shooketh? Is that not the cutest soap ever? This soap is gonna be available to purchase January 8th, 2019. This is a very, very, very limited soap. What you saw me make in the video is all the soap that's been made. There's like 34 bars, super exclusive. If you really wanna get your hands on it, you gotta be there at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time sharp. There's a couple of other soaps in this set that are like that, that I've made exclusively for the camera. As many of you know, a lot more soaps get made off screen so that we have enough for everybody. But another thing that happens when you have to make lots more off screen, even though you're making them in small batches, is that making time intensive designs is just not going to work. But I've also found that I've been slightly limited with my creativity that way. There's been some really time intensive designs I've wanted to make. And in the next year, we have definitely set up a way for me to do more more stuff like that. I'll tell you more about that in the New Year's video. I'm rambling, sorry. I hope you enjoyed day three of Soapmas. It is, oh man, it's so much fun. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the next installment of the series. Make sure you do something fun for yourself today, whether that is decorating the Christmas tree because you're a wee bit behind or cuddling up with your fluffy pet on the sofa and telling them how much you love them. Either way, do something that makes you happy and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.